I got you. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thank you. You should not, but I will try my best. So uh, we are going to ask you three questions about beer history. Answer two of the three questions successfully. That's right. And you win a prize for Theo. Theo, that's right. Free beer and a pine glass. Theo, that's right. I got you. I don't know if I have you. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find so out. Much we'll find out. Question number one, the Sumerians were very fond of beer. One of the earliest Sumerian... True. Yeah, they are. It's true. 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 It is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that it? Yeah. No. No, oh, that was okay. not Sorry, it. there's more. There's more. more. Sorry. There's a little bit more. <laughs> One of the earliest Sumerian recordings describing the brewing process was found on which of the following? A, an old papyrus scroll, which detailed the process of brewing beer, along with the story of the good Sumerian, a friendly Sumerian who would offer those in need vessels of beer along roadways. I don't feel... I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling not, that one? Uh, I don't B, know. in a poem to the Sumerian deity of beer, Ninkasi, which in part reads, Ninkasi, you are the one who spreads the cooked mash on the large reed mats. Coolness overcomes. You are the one who holds with both hands the sweet wort brewing with honey and wine. Did you say Ninkasi? Ninkasi. Ooh. Ooh. Or C. This could, this could be a trap. This would be good. <laughs> or is it C, on a Sumerian cuneiform paddle that was inscribed with the brewing recipes and processes, what? but also used to paddle the brewers when they got the recipe wrong? I'm Going B. All right, so yeah, well, hold on, I'm hold on. B. Is the answer A the old papyrus scroll? B the poem to the Sumerian deity Ninkasi, or is it C the Sumerian cuneiform paddle? I don't think the spanking one's right. No, I'm, all right, you I'm, sure? I'm going B. All right, all right, it is B. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Really nice job. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sumerian women were the brewers of the time, so it is not surprising that the Sumerian deity of beer was female and named Ninkasi. It also is the name chosen in 2006 by craft brewery in Eugene, Oregon, Ninkasi Brewing. Yep. There you go. Yep. There we go. There we go. Question two. I got you, Theo. There we go. Oh, yeah. One for one. Prior to 1000 AD, almost all beer in Europe was brewed with malt water. Uh, yeast as well, but they didn't know what it was, sure. right? Um, sure. And which of the following ingredient? Is it A, hops? Hops have been and will always be the cornerstone of beer, and anyone who says otherwise is unwelcome, unhit, and unhopped. <laughs> the weather is going down. <laughs> Do I get any advice from the panel? No. Can I get any advice at all? No, sure. no, yeah, hold on. Well, they, we wait. They don't, don't go for that right. one. <laughs> don't go for that one? Dang or it. is it B, peat moss? Due oh. to its absorbent and dense nature, peat moss was found to bring out distinct musky, woody, and sweaty flavors that people were looking for in their beers at that time. Love a sweaty yeah. beer. Everybody loves Love a sweaty a, beer. If a beer's not sweaty, you know, I don't want that it. That one is very historic, it though. Is so. When I'm eating sweaty balls, have I'm you, really? Have you tried beer. my sweaty beer? <laughs> Your sweaty beer. Or is it C, gruit? A combination of herbs such as sweet gale, mugwort, yarrow, ground ivy, whorehound, along with other things like juniper, ginger, nutmeg, oh, and anise. Yeah. Definitely is vote a, for that one. Question A: Hops, B: Peat moss, or C: Gruit. All right, can I get it? Can I get crowd participation? You think C? Really? Oh, C. A, B, or C? You think C? That's what we do. Listen to Bellwetter. Guys. Really? Are, is the panel going C? Hey. I was a. thinking A more specifically. Like, don't go, s don't go A. I'll don't give you a hint. A. I don't it's, know who to trust out of you guys. Not, you guys all look. It's not hops. They didn't use hops until after the 1300s. Uh, Are you positive? Except when they were on a pogo stick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm the putting. Ancient Egyptians did have. Pogo I'm gonna go C. Sticks. Final that answer. Is C. Yes. yes. Correct. Right. Prior to 1000 AD, almost all beer in Europe was brewed without hops and seasoned with expensive mixture right. of gruit, which was sold to the brewers by the Grootreich, a bunch of uppity hot shots, as a means of taxation. Ooh. That's two out of Whoa. three so far. On to Very a good. That's the gruit. Good. The gruit, which uh, you've got gruit fest every year at Bellwether Brewing Company. Just That's a right. shout out. All if right. you haven't been to Bellwether, you will learn a lot about brackets like and... Gruits and, and braggarts. And braggarts. And all kinds <laughs> of braggarts. 
Question number three. Right. In 1935, something special was released at the Kruger Brewing Company of Newark, New Jersey. What was this special release? Was it A, in 1935, Kruger released the first West Coast IPA, which was aggressively hopped to help retain or at attain a big bitter flavors not found in previous beers? West Coast IPA West Coast, out of New Jersey. Out of Newark, New Jersey. The beer was aptly named due to the location. Okay. Hold on. The beer was aptly named due to the location of Newark on the west coast of the Passaic River. I don't know. I don't feel good about oh, that one. I don't feel good. Interesting. In 1935, the first canned beer was released by Kruger Brewing Company and gained increasing popularity through the 1930s into the 1940s and beyond. The cans were light, quick to chill, and enjoyed by the masses of GIs during and after World War II. Okay. Or is it C, in 1935, Kruger released the first brew-it-in-a-bottle system. Customers simply purchased a returnable case of 16-ounce bottles, added a special packet of brewer's mix to each bottle, filled each bottle with water, placed them in their fridge, and three days later, voila, you had yourself a nice cold case of Could Kruger be. beer. Could be. I feel is like the answer A, the first West Coast IPA, B, the first canned beer, or is it C, It's not A. Brew it it's either B or C. Anyone B or C? B, you think? The can? Was it Crowler Brewing Company? No, Kruger. Kruger. My bad. Kruger. <laughs> okay, here's a question. Can yeah. I ask this? Yes. How many do I have to get right for Theo to get he, the prize? Uh, two out of three. He's already won. So he's already yeah. won. Yeah. So I feel good about that. All so right. I'm off the hook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is I'm just a, bragging right. It's still important to get this no, right. No, I yeah. want to You're get setting it right. A precedent. I just you can't I, be yeah. the best singer songwriter and yeah. then do two out of three. Right, we don't right. want two thirds. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, I'm gonna go B. The answer is B. Yes. That's correct. The first can beer. Although cans have been snobbishly looked down upon over the years since Kruger Brewing Company first released them in 1935. Cans have been shown to have real advantages, such as being totally opaque, neutral on the effect of beer inside, and easily recyclable. Can craft beers are on the rise, and the future of the can looks bright. Dave, how did Chris do on our quiz? Well, Chris got three out of three, which is a win. Hey! And Theo Yo. takes home the prize. Very good. Chris Molitor, thank you so much for oh, joining us. Thanks on for we, having we me. Don't tell me it's been a pleasure it to talk been. to you. Yeah. So for great. you who don't know, Chris is going to play a couple songs for us as we take our next break. We'll come back with our next show, Beer Limericks, after Chris performs. Thank you. He is Spokane's best singer-songwriter. Yes. I think we can say that again. He's Spokane's best singer-songwriter. Just you and me, but this crowd, it feels more like a sea. My heart's on a string in this hardwoods beneath the feet. My friends in the whiskey restore my resolve. I wait a little longer as the fear fades off. But you got my gaze in my heart. Began to raise, began to raise. And I said, hey, hey. Across the room, I'm coming over here, here. Upside down, you flip me over here, here. The way we move, it makes me wonder if you and I could be forever here, here. Here, here. Just one dance more as the bartender pours in the band. Starts up again, but before I can ask or finish this glass, she smiles and takes my hand. Hey, hey, across the room I'm coming over. Hey, hey, 
upside down, you flip me over head. The way we move, it makes me wonder if you and I could be forever. Peace of mind, peace of mind, peace of mind. How can I have peace of mind when you look at me that way? If I ask you, would you mind, would you mind, would you mind? If I don't ask, I'll lose my mind, so I'm asking anyway. Hey, hey, across the room I'm coming over. Hey, hey, upside down you flip me over. Hey, hey. The way we move, it makes me wonder If you and I could be forever Hey, hey Hey, hey Hey, hey Hey, hey You and I could be forever Thank you guys. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out this evening. This is super fun. A worried mind is a worried heart. Like a lone wolf howling in the cold and dark. Will you sing me something before the day is gone? With a back home feeling or an old soul song. Good time wise. You know, want one more? What do, what do you guys you want? One more? We'll do one more. One more? more? Shut up. I know you, but I feel comfortable enough to say it to you. We'll do one more. Uh, we'll do uh, a song called Same Old Town.
I saw you sitting in the summer sun. 